Hey folks, um, guess where I'm at? You can see behind me, I'm at the Goodwill. I'm actually at exit 57. I look a little tired, I'm a little besheveled. Didn't shave or nothing like that, but um, I am actually heading home now from Florida as I'm recording this, and my GoPro is packed up in my gear, or my, my bags, my, I'm not gonna dig that out, so I said to hell with it, I'll use the cell phone. And as I was traveling 95, I hit the button to see if there's any Goodwills off the exit. And this one was basically a mile off the exit. And I said, you know what? Let's run into Goodwill. It's only going to basically I'll go in for like 10 minutes. And let's see what we can get. I don't know if we can get anything. It's a Sunday when I'm recording this. So I don't know if this is a bins or just a regular Goodwill. So let's see. Uh, what a difference though in the wet. difference though in the weather here uh, versus Pennsylvania now I'm just coming off of Florida weather so I'm about an hour and a half more or maybe an hour and 45 minutes more to North Carolina so let's see oh. a, always playing the background the music Apparently this is their shoe selection. No, nothing's catching my attention yet. <laughs> oh, I wonder about these. Champion. <laughs> 12 wide. Yeah, they're beat up. He's cracked. Yeah, knockoffs. Knockoffs. Huh. Stripe two. That music's gonna kill me. Saw the shirt from the distance. I thought maybe Tommy Bahama, but new. Let's see. Do we have anything good here? I got. I got to be picky. I got to be picky because competition is fierce. Oh wait a minute. What do we got here? That's who's that? Greg Newman. Greg Norman. Yep. Golf shirt. In your vine. Large. Here's a Hawaiian shirt. Cactus man. What size? Extra large. Uh, how much are shirts? I'm not sure how much shirts are here. Ooh. Oh, I like that one. 3X. Mexico. Maybe I'm going to hit the... All Hawaiian shirts. King size. <laughs> That's funny. King size. 3X. Alabama. Oh, yeah. Another one of those. You know what? I'm going to dig into this and let me see what I get. Okay, went in, went in there and got back out in about 15 minutes and uh, we hunting for Wabbit. So I picked up this uh, Dan D plush. It was $1.99, but it's like an overstuffed plush. I did a real quick look up. Eh, it's like a $15, $20. And I picked up a bunch of shirts, which I'm in the car right now. I will show you guys later. But, um, it's a big building, but it's not real big inside. It was okay. I guess we, when you get used to... It's funny how the prices are different all over at different Goodwills and stuff like that. And um, Sundays, they don't do no specials and stuff like that. But like I said, I just got off because 
it was right off 95 and uh, exit 57 so it, and I was talking to the cashier a little bit and I mentioned that you know I just got off the highway and because she asked me if I you know had no 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 I said I'm just and she's actually from Williamsport Pennsylvania which is where they hold the Little League um, baseball and I know the area there because it's only probably about two hours west of me where I live and um, new other a new another subway owner there so I will show you guys later I got to get back on the road because I've lost about 15 20 minutes there so I got to make that time up and um, I spent $31 so I didn't really find anything that you know hit to hit a home run but I'll show you the shirts I still gonna double my money so you know but it's all right uh, stop uh, got a drink uh, used the bathroom and uh, found some shirts and, and a uh, wabbit so all right guys okay so what do uh, rabbits and beavers have in common well today I stopped for both <laughs> exit 57 and 170 but um, I had to stop at this place let's turn it around look at this I was seeing the signs I've heard about Bucky's down uh, in Texas and typically I'm about a half an hour south of North Carolina right now so they have the place called the south of the border anybody that travels up and down 95 always knows that south of the border has all these billboards you know kind of with sayings and graphics go stop here and and what i did notice this time traveling back and forth down through florida is that uh whew, i walked by that truck and i heard a dog growl a little bit uh, and i'm like whoops um they changed a lot of the billboards and uh, I just this one just opened up in May and um, hold on okay before I get run over I'm gonna look at all the ice machines this is like going to a Walmart look at all this holy when you put on your arm we took off the cap wow so I stopped here really get something to eat bathroom break and uh, the ladies are kissing Bucky <laughs> we got you we got you kissing Bucky oh wow look at this place that's crazy look at this wow how much are these shirts Sandwiches, eight dollars though for that. Boy, it better be good. I'm looking for ham. This is crazy. Look at all the people in here. Wow. What's this? Roast beef, chopping block sandwich. Must be roast beef. I think that's what I'm gonna get. I gotta get a drink. Wow. This is crazy. They have their own uh, brands of food. They got uh, potato chips, zesty dough, wow, original sea salt, zesty dill pickle, jalapeno, I need something for the road, I st I'm still like 11 hours from home, sour cream and onion, eh, I don't want that, 
Actually, maybe I'll get the pickle. Wow, does this place know how to merch or what? Bucky's mugs. Coffee. Honey butter. Hats. Spices. Sauces. Cotton candy. I, I didn't really want to record too much more in there because there was a lot of people and I mean that helps a little bit because they're like you know it's like a tourist trap but honestly you could probably stay there an hour and just checked out the place it had like a gift shop and um, reminded me like sort of like a larger cracker barrel type gift shop but um, they even had about 20 Tesla chargers out there they had a, their own roundabout to get out you can see it over here in the distance. It's the Florence um, Exit 170 location here in South Carolina. But um, it, it, there was people walking there. I mean, I've never seen something like Bucky's before. Uh, you know, we have up here in the um, the northeast of Pennsylvania area, Jersey, New York, and even they've come south now as Wawa. And then there's Pennsylvania-based sheets, but. They, they, two of them together, three of them together, can't even touch what Bucky's is doing here. So they, they have a lot of their own brand merchant uh, dice as far as food, even you know, which helps you know for them. Obviously, they can do a little cheap and and uh, still have good margins. The sandwich I got was eight dollars. It was a little you know, but it's a little, it's thick. It was all right. I, I'm still not. That's how that's how the traffic is backed up here. Uh, this place just opened in May, so I thought it would be neat to stop there um, Coming through, you know being the traveling picker and stuff and and uh, <laughs> what, what craziness if you guys have ever been to Bucky's uh, comment below so I Still got to show you guys the shirts, but I can't show you the shirts while I'm driving and I'm like 11 hours away from home and I don't even think I'm gonna make it home tonight um, I think I'm going to stay somewhere because I only had two and a half hours of sleep. Turn left onto the ramp to I-95 North. Five hours today, and that will put me at around 7 o'clock. And... Oh, that light is blinking. Oh, we can't turn. I think that dog that growled at me on the video there is in this cage in uh, this here. Let me flip the phone. Let me show you real quick. See that cage? Yeah. I think that's the one that kind of hoofed or growled at me. But uh, keep them in there. <laughs> All right, let me get back on the road. Okay, guys. Finally, I had to actually find them. The shirts. The shirts. We got a little bit sidetracked with Bucky's. And when you go to all these Goodwills anymore, you don't get any bags. So I had to find a paper bag to put them in. But this was the uh, Tropical Air. This actually was new with the tag. So I picked up this shirt. One. I always have a... Uh, this is a 3XL Rima Hawaiian shirt. And I always have a little bit of... It says Mexico, but you know, the Hawaiian style. Two. Cactus Mac. Another Hawaiian style shirt. Three. Four. Extra large, the nice orange and white stripe uh, button shirt. Five. And six. So, this is, this is nice. This is a little large, but a lot of times people can't, yeah, 3XL people can't find uh, larger shirts. So that's a nice shirt. So what was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, six or seven. And um, 
It was something like $21. So, you know what? At, at $15, $20 a shirt, um, it wasn't a big risk, and I just wanted to stop off and see what the Goodwill had to offer off of exit 57. And then when I got off the next exit at the, um, and we ran into Bucky's, I was like, oh, this is a cool place. So, But I had been on the road 20 hours that day, and uh, there wasn't a whole lot of time and, and, uh or sleep to be stopping off at every uh, exit. What I was doing was looking at my map, and unfortunately, off of 95, a lot of the Goodwill or your thrift stores were 10, 15 miles off uh, 95. So, I mean, if I would have done that, every time I stopped, I would have lost an hour. So, but, um, all right, guys, give me a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it, and uh, stay tuned for more videos. The palette videos have been doing very good. And, I want to thank the new subscribers that are watching those, and um, as we're getting closer to the holiday, um, sales should start picking up if you're a reseller. I know myself, it's, it's, it's slowly picking up, um, but constantly listen, listing. So, we'll see you again. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.